So I just got home. And um, I have to tell y'all what happened to me tonight because it was pretty fucking crazy. So I was doing Uber tonight. And um, I had a passenger in the car. And I pulled up to a stoplight. So y'all know since my car accident, I kind of pay attention to cars that are like really up on me, behind me. And tonight was no different. And uh, this Impala, it was an old Impala, probably like a 95, one of them bubble Impalas. It was black with faded paint and shit. Anyway, so um, it pulled up behind me, but it was real close. So I'm saying to myself, why the fuck are you pulling up so close? What's up? So, you know, I'm just paying attention to them. And then the light turned green. And um, I'm driving. So as I'm driving, I'm realizing that the Impala is tailing me. So I switch lanes. They switch lanes. I turn. They turn. You know, it was just weird. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is this shit? Right? So we get to another stoplight. I stop at the light this time it was like maybe three or four cars at the stoplight this time I'm at the light they tapped the back of my car now I'm not dumb I watch a lot of crime shows and all that type of shit I ain't dumb I wasn't about to get out the car to check no I mean shit I'm a woman it's late at night and it was three niggas in the car um one of them had short shoulder length dreads the driver the passenger had spiky dreads like they were um new dreads and i didn't see the person in the back seat like i knew it was somebody in the back i just couldn't make out their features like that that's how close they were to my car so after they tapped my car I caught on to what they were trying to do. They was trying to get me to get out of my car. I ain't trust that shit. I'm not dumb. So after the second time, because I went to the second stoplight now, because I tried to lose them, but I didn't want to drive so erratic with my passenger in the car. So after at the second stoplight, they tapped the back of my car again. That second time they tapped my car, I called the police. And I'm on the phone with dispatch and I'm explaining to them what's going on. Like, I'm an Uber driver. I'm picking up a passenger. This car has been tailing me. They tapped my car twice already. Blah, blah, blah. And then I told the lady, I said, ma'am, I have a gun in the car. Now, I don't want to have to shoot who following me. But I kill these niggas graveyard fucking dead if they don't get the fuck away from my car. Like, I didn't say it like that. But I said it similar to that. I did tell her I would kill them graveyard dead if they don't get away from my car. So, she was like, ma'am, you know, you have a right to defend yourself, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm just telling you because I don't know what's going to happen. Like, they, they being real stupid right now and I could get real stupid too. So after I told her that, um, I was giving her street names because I was trying to lose the dudes who were following me. So I'm turning, they're turning, I'm switching lanes, they switching lanes. These niggas were definitely fucking following me. I don't know what they were trying to do, what they were planning on doing, but they wasn't about to make no victim out of me. Let me tell you, they were not. So, um... You know, I was like, ma'am, they just, and, and, and then when I was at a stop sign trying to lose them, they tapped the back of my car again. So I'm just like, oh my God, like what is going on? I did not want to get out of my car to check for no type of damage. I just didn't. I didn't want to get out. And I mean, after a while, I just said, fuck the laws of the road. Cause you know, I was following the laws of the road at first, you know, stop signs, lights and shit like that. And I said, fuck that, that last, because they tapped my car that last time. It was a little bit harder than the first two times, and I got scared. So I told the dispatcher, I'm running lights. I'm running stop signs. I'm trying to lose them. I don't know what they're trying to do. 
And so she's like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What street are you on? They're coming. What street are you on? So I told her what street I was on. Do you know how hard it is to be speeding, trying to get away from somebody while looking at the fucking street name? It's hard as fuck. I ain't realize it was that hard, but bitch, it's hard as fuck. So I started to hear the sirens in the background. And I guess they heard it too because he pulled up on the side of my car and it was pretty fast for a fucking old Impala too. That was one thing, you know, because I drive a Toyota and, you know, it's it's okay. It's not all fast and shit. You know, it, it ain't. Anyway, they the car was pretty fast and it pulled up, you know, next to me, I guess, to go around me when they heard the sirens coming and they almost pushed me off of the road so when that happened i just stopped and they kept going you know because i seen that they was trying to go around they was trying to knock me over knock me out the road and shit i just stopped and they kept fucking going and i had to wait for the police to come and get me because you know i wanted an incident report i wanted it documented you know i i ain't know i i ain't know what the fuck i explained what the car looked like to them and everything um they came to me and you know i told them what happened and all that shit they took my information and then they let me go home and that was it i don't know if they caught the dudes I don't know. Like, I still don't even know why the fuck they fuck with me in the first place. I do not know. The dispatcher agreed with me that she thought that they were trying to get me to get out of the car by tapping on the back of my car. Like, you know, so I could go and see the damage and shit. But I ain't stupid. 